and welcome back to It Figures. Tonight, I have a pretty cool action figure here for you, and it is from King Kong versus Godzilla. Now, if you just take a look at this, you would have probably never known it was from NECA, because it's such a cool packaging here. It's all Japanese words, and it just really is. It really is some of the best packaging, I think, that NECA has ever done. Pretty much the only thing in English here are these little words here. It says King Kong versus Godzilla. And other than that, everything else on here is Japanese. Now, long before I seen the original Godzilla, I mean, this was Godzilla to me. It was, you know, Saturday morning. They used to show tons of Godzilla movies here for the Saturday morning movie or whatever it was. It always came on at noon. It was either like Abbott and Costello or Godzilla or some kind of horror film or something. And this was kind of the Godzilla that I grew up with. This is the one that I really kind of knew the most. And it's basically a guy in a big rubber suit. I think that NECA really captured it really, really well here too. So I can't wait to open this thing up and take a more detailed look. So it just opens up like most NECA films. Eh, films. So it opens up like most NECA movies. <laughs> So it opens up like most NECA figures, where it's, you know, it has a Velcro and it uh, has a flap that opens up and you can see Godzilla inside of it. And over here on the side is a picture of him in sort of a really bad cityscape. <laughs> but, uh, and it's really heavy too, he has a lot of weight to it. It's been a really, really long time since I bought a Godzilla film. <sighs> it's been a really, really long time since I bought a Godzilla figure. It's, um, the last ones I think I got were made by, wasn't, they weren't made by NECA, they were made by, um, Band, Bandy? Bandai? I think it was Bandai. Or some, some other company like that used to make Godzilla, and I have a ton of Godzilla figures. I got Mecha Godzilla, I got regular Godzilla, so, yeah, I always used to collect these, because I love Godzilla, obviously. But this looks like the best one so far that I would have, uh, ever owned. One side note here. King Kong looks horrible in this movie. <laughs> While Godzilla looks pretty cool, he just looks like his face is like melted chocolate. It's like somebody took a Snickers bar, melted it, and tried to form it into uh, to King Kong's face. That's how bad he looked in the movie. He looked horrible. But when you're watching as a teenager, you're like, oh man, these guys are awesome. <laughs> Still, Godzilla looked good in there. So let's get this thing opened and uh, take a look at it. All right, so the first thing I want to do here is put his tail on so he's a complete figure and not a half a figure. And uh, it's sort of a ball shaped, as you can see there. And it just uh, apparently goes right into the hole here. So let's see if that actually works or not. And the tail is on. It wasn't as difficult as I thought. Uh, I just took a little... Uh, Braun Strowman strength to get that in there, but other than that, it's uh, wasn't bad. Okay, so right off, I can tell you that I absolutely love the sculpt. Like most NECA film, why do I keep calling it a film? Okay, so right off, I can tell you I absolutely love the sculpt. I think just like all of NECA's figures, they really kind of knock it out with the sculpts. And this, like I said, this is the first actual Godzilla figure that I have from NECA. And I've always loved the texture on Godzilla. It's like somebody just took like um, a brush and just kind of brushed the scales on. <laughs> and that's exactly what he looks like here. He looks just like he would in a Godzilla film or Godzilla. And he looks exactly like he would in a Godzilla movie or Godzilla versus King Kong. I mean, he looks great. One of my favorite things I can tell you about this figure, and that's what really caught my eye was his eyes. I love the yellow of his eyes, of his eyes there. It's uh, they really stand out. And I don't know if any other Godzilla had the yellow eyes like that, other than this one. Um, he might have, but I just really love the the yellow eyes there that they've um, have with Godzilla. One thing um, I just kind of noticed here, uh, he's a huge figure. I mean, he's a big guy, and he's always been a big guy in the movies. But his head's real small, as you can see. If it clears up. His head's real small. <laughs> and um, the, the new Godzilla is very much like that. You know, he has this big, huge, gigantic uh, body, and it comes up to his head. His head's kind of kind of small, and uh, that's uh, they captured that really well on this, too. And besides the standout yellow eyes, they really got the color 
exact. I mean, he's almost a greenish gray color, and it's a really, I think it would be a difficult color to really mix in to get correct. And they did. It's He almost looks like he's in black and white, but he's also greenish gray, I guess, is uh, the, the color for him. But yeah, the color is spot on here. All right, so let's take a look at the detail here of Godzilla. Like I said, I love the face, the sculpt. Um, I like how the ridges are in his skin everywhere. And he's a heavy figure, too. I think the face looks just like he did in the Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. And he's changed so much over the years. I mean, he really has. His face sculpture and body has changed so much. And it's really cool to see that NECA really nailed um, the look from this certain film. And like I said, Godzilla's always been really thick. So <laughs> he's a big, big uh, dinosaur, big uh, prehistoric creature, whatever you want to call him. And again, they got that perfectly right with the sculpt, with his arms and, uh, you know, just the way uh, they move, which I'll get to in a minute about the articulation here, all the way down to his legs. And Godzilla is known, I get just like for the small head, I guess. Godzilla is known for his big, thick thighs, and uh, <laughs> you got him here. I mean, yeah, it looks great. Everything, I, I, everything on this is to proportion of what the Godzilla looked like in the film. Now let's take a look at the tail. The tail is very long, which is really cool. And once you put it together, you don't realize how long the actual tail is. But that makes it a really an impressive figure uh, with the huge tail he has here. So down the back he has his spikes or whatever you want to call those. They go all the way down his back, but they actually do not continue on his tail. They do a little bit as you can see there, but I don't think that uh, in the movie they do either. I think it's just on his back. And just like the rest of them, they're really nicely done, very well detailed, very well colored. Now comes the biggest surprise out of this figure, is the articulation. It's crazy. I mean, you, you could have just made a Godzilla movie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now comes the biggest surprise here, and that is the articulation here on Godzilla. I mean, you could have just made a Godzilla figure with, uh, you know, one or two points of articulation. You could have just had his arms go up and down and his head maybe move back and forth, but they did not do that. It's like there's so much articulation here, it's crazy. Just in the neck alone, I mean, he does have sort of a ball-jointed head, as you can see, but he has like a, almost like a collar, and you can move that as well up and down. You can't move it a lot, but it actually gives him more movement, you know, to move his head back and forth, and that's awesome. The one thing that I'm pretty disappointed by right now, it's just, just by messing around with this, is his mouth does not open. It, it, I can't get his mouth to open all the way. It's on a hinge, and uh, that's about as far as it opens. It's like a stuck hinge under here, if you can see that. Right here is the hinge for the mouth, and it's like frozen. It won't open the mouth all the way. So you can kind of open it, but it doesn't like just open like it should, you know, because it's like it's bending open like that. And you, I said you can't open it, but it shouldn't be that way. I mean, it should be just be able to open and close it. So that's kind of a disappointment with that uh, part of the articulation. Now his arms, again, just like his neck, are pretty ridiculous. He has shoulder uh, movement, and he has his elbow movement, and he has a wrist movement here. And he actually has his fingers that bend which kind of makes his hand look a little weird when that happens. I don't know um, if that was like the best part of uh, thinking out the, I guess it, so he could hold something. I don't know. But you can actually see his hand, you can actually see, you can bend his fingers and when it does, it makes his, the rest of his hand look a little weird in certain positions. But um, it's inter interesting that point of articulation. It's a lot. It's crazy that what they did here. It's, it's cool is what it is. And then you have like mid waist here, and he does sort of, eh, I mean, it's there. <laughs> it's hard to get him to move around, but he can. As his legs, too, he does have the big hip uh, movement. He does have knee movement, not a lot, but it's there. And he actually even has a foot movement. His foot uh, 
is separate and it moves foot back and forth. What I find really cool is this here, is this tail. <laughs> Check this out. It's so um, articulated. Every section here is a different articulation, has a different, um, whatever you want to call it, a different cut of, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, it is. It's really well, instead of just making it like a rubber tail like they usually do, um, you can actually pose this in really cool positions like you would see him moving it around and tearing buildings down in Godzilla movies. Um, it's really, really cool, and I'm really impressed on how they, they did that. It's very nice. So he only comes with one accessory, and this is it. This is his atomic breath. <laughs> and that's what that is. It's, it's something usually that comes with a figure, and I'm like, eh, I don't know, it looks kind of goofy, it looks a little silly. But uh, actually, this is they did a really good job with it. I think they did a really, really great job with it, making it look like his atomic breath. And it's clear, so you can actually see through it. Let me see if I can put a light through here. Hang on. But it is clear. I mean, you can see through it if you, if you put it up to a light like that. So it's not like a solid piece of plastic. They did make it clear, which is nice. And even though his mouth doesn't open very well, you can still open it big enough to... Uh, and even though his mouth doesn't open all the way, you can still open it large enough. <sighs> and even though his mouth doesn't open all the way, you can still open it wide enough to put the atomic breath in. And it actually looks really cool with him uh, doing that. It does. I, I thought it looked stupid. I mean, just looking at it by itself, it's like, okay, it's a weird cloud of thing, vapor. Um, but no, it looks really awesome when it's actually in the figure. So with the new Godzilla movie coming out, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at him, and it has been. This is a great figure, it really is. Even with the weird uh, mouth not opening like it should. <laughs> I think I might get like a hair dryer and um, try to try to loosen the, the joint here on his mouth a little bit so it doesn't break on me if I'm messing with it. But overall, it's a, you know, it's like a childhood uh, memory come to life here of uh, what Godzilla used to look like back when he was uh, on Saturday morning uh, movies. And it's really, really great representation of him with some fantastic articulation, excellent sculpt, really, really well done. And color-wise, like I said, I love how the yellow eyes just pop out and they got the color of him perfect. Plus the crazy articulated tail he has is really cool. And even the atomic breath is pretty awesome. So would I recommend this? Absolutely. I would 100% recommend Godzilla. <laughs> So there you go, there is Godzilla from Godzilla vs. King Kong, and I actually would kind of like to see what they would do with King Kong, so we could have him actually versus King Kong, but I don't think they've ever gotten a King Kong license. It would be awesome if they did, because uh, once again, King Kong has changed just as much as, King, just as, much as uh, Godzilla has over the years, so I, I would really like to see what they would do to him too. <laughs> But as for this Godzilla, it's perfect. It's except for the mouth not opening and closing. Everything else is really perfect on him. The sculpt, like I said, the, the paint, everything. It's just a really cool uh, Godzilla. It really is. And I will probably have more Godzilla stuff this month or next month with the new movie coming out. Like I said, I'm kind of going Godzilla crazy. Um, I'm watching Godzilla movies that I'm hoping that I'm going to review over on my other channel. So if you want to check that one out, that's Box Office Maniacs. I will put a link to it below if you're curious on that one. And um, for now, this is it for Godzilla. Hope you liked this review. If you did, please subscribe because we are trying to get our subscriptions up to at least a 1,000 by this year so we can get paid for our reviews because we are doing this for free right now because <laughs> we don't have enough uh, subscribers. So if you love action figures, you love Godzilla, you love... Uh, just uh, cool things in general. That's his channel. I mean, if it's uh, action figures, it'll be on here. And um, love all you guys, and I'll see you next time here on It Figures.